Hey everybody and welcome to this tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I just have a quick one for you. Um, how you can add material back to a cut um, that, that's already taken a chunk out of a piece of steel. Uh, this is something that's not a new feature. Uh, it's not really widely used on the steel side. I think we see more people using it on the concrete side of things. But it is very helpful from time to time so it's just an important little tip to know. So this actually came up recently when dealing with a customer who was working with Tecla. He had a situation like this with a WT um, brace coming in with a shear tab. The, the Tecla component went ahead and blocked the flange away, but uh, he was hoping that he could get a, a little half inch radius in here um, for like an, entr an entrance cut being created. Uh, now if this were a polygon cut, uh, that wouldn't be a problem. You could simply double click on the corner and then you could modify that outside of the component, you know, if the component couldn't do it. Uh, in this case though, and you'll, you'll find that this happens from time to time, the component actually uses a plate or a beam plate type cut. Um, so it, you, what you have is a start handle and an end handle. You can't double click on this corner and change a chamfer like you could if it was a, a polygon cut. So um, really your options here are to simply rely on the CNC files to be correct because uh, Tecla does have the ability to do that automatically in a CNC file. Uh, you could delete this cut out and put in your own cut uh, with the um, uh, polygon cut tool. But what I'm going to show you, rather than having to make the full cut, you can simply adjust this cut or add to this cut um, by, by telling it to add material back in again. And, and the way we do that, it sounds a little silly, is by cutting the cut. Um, so when you apply a cut to a solid member in Tecla, it removes material. When you apply a cut to a cut, it actually adds material back in, and not a lot of people know that. So let me show you what that looks like. Here I can see um, my cut that's actually removing the material. Go ahead and turn those on in your view settings if you can't see them. Uh, it's simply a, di a display setting. And then I'll go ahead and I'll activate my polygon cut command, and rather than selecting the beam or the plate or something like that, what I'll do is actually select the cut. And then I can go ahead and pick the corners that I want to add back in, essentially. Um, what I want to do is add a half inch radius cut here. So what I'll do is I'll just come up here and say, let's come up this way by, uh, let's see, half an inch. And then um, I'll just snap over to the perpendicular here and come over another half an inch. Back down to the top of the cut there, and then I'll middle mouse click to finish. And you can see as soon as I get done creating that cut, it's actually gone and added material back in again. So that's kind of a neat little feature. Let me go ahead and change my visualization settings so you can see that a little bit better. So it's actually going and, and by cutting the cut away, it's telling it to add material back or basically not remove that material from the um, from the brace anymore. And then, like I said, the customer in this instance wanted to have a um, a radius cut here. So what we'll simply do is double click on this corner. I'll say, yep, let's add an inverse radius of a half an inch and we'll modify. And now I get my half inch entrance cut that he was wanting. So rather than recreating the whole cut, which would require getting the proper view and, and seeing it extents and things like that, you can simply cut the cut to reshape it. So, you know, that's a quick little tip. Um, there's actually a, a lot of applications beyond this, but this was just a real world example I ran into recently. Um, so as always, if you have any more questions, you, you can always reach out to your local help desk. And thank you for watching.